Hello everyone, this is Cartier from Kindro Core Enterprise and ZCloud Engineering Team. And in today's video, I would like to explore the implications of a possible port of the Rust programming language for ZOS and why this could mean a big paradigm change for system programming in the mainframe. First, let's talk a little bit about the Rust language. Rust is a multi-paradigm programming language designed for high-performance, memory-safe system programming. It was originally designed and developed at Mozilla, but since 2010, it's completely open source with one of the largest user bases in the industry. It has been adopted by several of the largest tech giants, including Amazon, Facebook, Google, and Microsoft. According to the Stack Overflow survey of 2022, Rust is on its seventh year as the most loved language, with 87% of developers saying that they want to continue using it. But why is that? To answer this question, we will need to dive a little bit deeper in the Rust programming language. The first reason for Rust's success is because it is extremely fast. It is almost as fast as C, and in fact, it often compiles to the exact same assembly code. Another big reason for Rust's success as a system programming language is due to its capability of enabling developers to produce highly performatic memory-safe code. But why we would care for something like memory safety? Well, memory safety issues are among the top offenders in the software and security incidents in the IT industry. According to a research conducted by Microsoft, around 70% of all security issues fixed between 2004 and 2018 in Microsoft products were related to memory safety. Memory safety is a huge problem. Operating systems need to ensure that applications don't leak data to each other, Web browsers need to ensure that web applications in a tab can grab data from another tab, and hyperscalers need to guarantee that one user can't read the data from another user. Memory safety issues don't just produce buggy software, they can crash services that people rely on every day. They are the type of issues that wake us up at 3 a.m. in the morning. As mainframers, we are responsible for the world's most mission-critical systems and softwares. This implies that we need to be extra careful on how we manage and build these systems. Now, there are several languages today that are performant and also enable memory safety. Go is one of them, and already has a port for ZOS. So why we would care for Rust? The key difference here is that Rust enables memory safety without a garbage collector. A garbage collector is a routine that gets executed at runtime to free up memory that's no longer being used. This method helps to avoid memory safety problems, and although effective, it comes with a cost in the performance of the application. Now, if Rust doesn't have a garbage collector, how does it guarantee memory safety? Well, it does this by implementing an elegant solution called the borrow checker that runs at compilation time, not at runtime. The borrow checker works by assuming two basic rules. One, data has only one owner. And two, data may have multiple readers, but only one writer. And that's it. Those are the two basic rules of the borrow checker. Now let's look at an example on how this works in practice. In Rust, you don't pass a variable into a function. You give ownership of the variable to that function. In this example, when we give variable name to the capitalized function, it's gone. In this next example, let's imagine we run a library. On line three and four, we are using the concept of borrowing to pass the neuromancer book variable to the functions. When we use this method, we guarantee a few things. One, the function that is borrowing the variable cannot change it. And two, the function can only access the variable data until the function has finished it. The interesting thing is that by fixing the memory safety problem, the Rust team fixed a variety of other system programming problems. 
in making a compile that understands your code in a very deep way in a rich type system that supports that compiler, they give the developers all of the control, the potential to build the perfect language and ecosystem. As of today, there is no Rust port to the ZOS environment. The reason for this is that until very recently, the LLVM compiler ecosystem was not fully implemented for ZOS. This has changed with the recent announcement by IBM that states that the OpenXL C and C++ version 1.1 fully incorporates the LLVM compiler infrastructure. This opens the door to the possibility of the Rust being ported to ZOS in the same way that Python and Go has been ported in the past. If Rust is ever ported to ZOS, there are several potential benefits. Some of them are asynchronous system programming, potentially enabling more zip offloads through the usage of preemptible service request blocks, safe multi-threading, drastically reducing memory safety issues, and a compiler with a rich error message system will catch critical problems at compilation time, providing insightful message to developers so they can fix problems early in development stages. Although Rust is not available for ZOS, there is a version already available for Linux on Z, and it can be found in the official Rust repository. Rust represents a breakthrough for systems programming. It enables organizations to develop safe software without compromising performance. The last 40 years were written in C, and there is a good chance that the next 40 will be written in Rust, and the mainframe might be a part of this journey. Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in the subject, make sure to check the references below, especially the No Boilerplate YouTube channel that includes more in-depth educational material for the Rust programming language.